Okay, Christine, uh, as I said, video bids are the key. Uh, so basically what, this house looks really good. It's just that trim, I can definitely see you pull up. I, I did some work on that house right there as well for Ernst Mickelson Construction. But um, as you can see, uh, yeah, um, everything looks pretty darn good actually. I like the way it was painted. It's just this trim is horrible. Um, so we do the same thing. We wrap it. Basically, we do any areas on that that need to be caulked. We would handle as well in the prep. Just uh, it doesn't look like there'll be a whole bunch, but it was done correctly, which I can definitely appreciate. It will be done by hand. Um, two coats. I use Kelly Moore, best Kelly Moore paint. I don't like anything to be, um, you know, I don't like to see any of the old color. Um, and I have some really uh, great greenish black colors i have some really good stuff that, that we could kind of discuss as as we get closer um and if the price is uh, okay so that's the trim we know everything is going to be done with the green we'll be get we'd get rid of the teal so uh, as on the doors uh, i know you said the deck so i'm kind of it's got some snow on it so we'll just kind of go from there um this door isn't too bad obviously but it could use a little bit of spar varnish um but so decks most of these are pretty good um and handrails this is going to be my issue because i can't really see it but i would um i can see from here that usually uh, especially here you get a ton of sun and a ton of snow um and then these doors obviously were also what you were looking at yeah those are in dire need um oh yes so basically what we do is we sand them down and we put a spar varnish. Um, so unfortunately, they're never gonna look as if they're brand new, but we can definitely make them look a lot better. Um, I do a lot of doors. So the spar varnish is a oil-based product. Uh, it's basically for longevity and it's made primarily for uh, boats, wooden boats, stuff that's in the water all the time. So it's really kind of a great product. So, um, not a big deal. We do refinish the doors as best we can, but you know, you're always going to see a little bit of the old stuff in them because once that black's in there, it's almost impossible and we can't keep sanding, uh, because then it, it thins the door out. So, but we can, you know, take a lot of the top off and we can make them look pretty darn good. Um, you know, I've seen far worse than this and made them look good, but they are definitely, especially over here, without a doubt, it is time to get at them quickly. So, um, deck refinish, I really don't see this as being a complete refinish. Granted, I can't see a lot of it, but I mean, I, I would think a good pressure wash, resetting some nails, and a nice coat of oil based stain, um, even if it's a clear, but a nice coat of heavy oil based stain. Uh, is going to buy you a lot of time I mean, and that's just the reality usually every four to five years if you put a couple heavy uh, multiple coats on uh, it'll save you so obviously trim any caulking on the trim that has failed since it was previously done as in the caulk of that crack right here any of that stuff is done by us uh, we make sure that it looks as if it's solid, much like it is now. Uh, but basically all the blue, as we discussed. Um, yeah, so that's it with the deck, and that's it so far with the doors I've seen. Uh, yes, like this is what I'm talking about. The cracks, that are, the caulking that has failed, it happens. We go in and we re-caulk all that stuff. Um, and then we paint. So I just kind of like to walk it with a camera, so that way we do so, um, so much work that it is imperative for us to keep everything on the line to keep everything uh, on video so that i can always fall back to our web page or our youtube page and say okay so this is what needed to be done and i can always find that so it is a considerable amount of trim um not a big deal um it might even be something you know probably not a weekend job yeah there's a pretty good chunk there Okay, so as we I'll come down here, uh, yeah, beautiful paint job. They did a nice job. It's just, what the heck is this color? So this guy's pretty bad shape. So that one right here will have to be prepped pretty good uh, so that it looks good. We don't leave cracks. We just paint. We don't paint over dirt. We wash everything. So we'd actually show up, wash it. We pressure wash everything, and then we caulk. We reset the nails or the lags. Uh, we make sure that they are in properly. We caulk everything in. Has to be clean for us. So underneath here, um, 
Yeah, you can tell it started to get to the boards, didn't it? So underneath here, we would basically come in, pressure wash all this, uh, pressure wash the entire house anyway. So we'd pressure wash everything. And then we, basically what we do is we'd prime where it needs to be primed, uh, like bare wood areas like that. And then we would come in and we would paint with a new color. So, um, so here's my idea. You can take this or leave it. It's going to be the same cost either way, but my I idea might be, um, on this guy right here. So you've got a couple posts that aren't, uh, uh painted in as you had mentioned. I'm not sure if you mean these, um, they could, they could also go as well into that, into the trim color, if that's what you wanted to do. But my suggestion on this would save you money as well is whatever this color we pick, whatever color right here that we pick, we do all of this in that color because then that lets it spray us sprayed. It saves us a bunch of time and it'll hide the dirt under here. I, I never like to see light colors under these because whenever you see the light colors, um, you know, you just see the dirt within weeks because obviously everything's going to come through the deck and it's going to look like that. And so what I prefer to do is to take a darker color and spray it all out. Um, and then once it's sprayed out, obviously, you know, we wouldn't be doing the wall. We would plastic from this line on and drop it down. And then all this stuff would be bare wood primed and everything else would be painted that trim color. This would give you a longevity aspect of having it be, you know, you get a lot more time out of it without having to clean it as well as uh, it would look a lot cleaner. It would look really nice, I think. And then we could do these poles. I think that's what you're talking about and go from there. So, uh, and then obviously the trim, it kind of pop because you really wouldn't see this anyway, unless you're underneath it. Um, so it's not something that you would notice from the street, but that's just my opinion. Um, so on these guys too, I, I would suggest that when we stain the doors or when we uh, stain the deck, that we put a coat of stain on these doors too, just because they're starting to get a little wear on the bottom. And uh, just a quick pressure wash and then just a coat of stain. I, I'd probably charge 25 per door down here. Um, just for the sake of, uh, um, just for the sake of longevity. Again, we're already here. We're already doing stain. These doors could use just a shot. So that's what I would suggest. Just hitting them real quick, uh, just to put a little oil-based stain repels water for another four to six years type of thing. So, um, uh, and then obviously the whole deck, bring it all down. Um, it's a little time consuming, but it's definitely important. This is nice how this was set up as a little, a little area here. How much blue do we have in here? Yeah, they definitely got happy with the blue. Um, so, not a big deal though. Yeah. Nope, not a big deal. Two sets of steps, front deck and side deck. Now, if by chance, yeah, this one does need it, doesn't it? But if you do decide that this area is good and you just want to code out there, I can separate that price as well. But yeah, so that's what we would do. Um, that kind of explains the video, lets you kind of see what we see. And um, yeah, so what I'll do is I'll put this all together. Um, I'll send it over to you and then you guys can decide from there. And if it's something that you want to go ahead with, just let us know. And then basically the next step would be a contract would be sent uh, to you. And then we would start discussing colors and then it's pretty much we're up and running um, and I'll put you on the timeline. Something like this, you know, is only like two or three days with two or three guys. It is a considerable amount of work, um, but it's, it, we'd be able to probably fit this in somewhat still in the spring. Um, I prefer to start all deck work um, at least mid April to May, just because of the fact that I want these decks completely dry before I manipulate them or manipulate anything on them. We have a two year unlimited warranty, so I don't want anything that I fix. I've gone many years without having to fix anything. So I kind of like that. Uh, so with that said, uh, thank you very much. And you'll hear from me soon.